Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations, and today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas in 2022. I am super blessed, and what I'm going to be showing you guys here is pretty much everything I got for Christmas, so that includes family, friends, the whole thing, Christmas parties, so it was a lot, and I am just so thankful for really everything, but the most important part of Christmas was celebrate Jesus' birthday, and it was a really, really special Christmas. With that being said, I'll go ahead and show you. First thing was this North Face green jacket from my parents. My mom picked it out. She has the exact same one and now we can match because I commented on it a little bit ago and I said, hey, I really like your sweatshirt and she got me one, so I thought that was really sweet. I guess we'll just kind of keep going with the clothes. It's this really pretty purple sweatshirt and it says from Savannah, Georgia because my parents went to Savannah right before Christmas and they ended up getting a lot of our family Christmas gifts that said Savannah, Georgia, which I think is really cute and I'm so excited to wear this. Purple is my favorite color, specifically the lavenders. I love it. So yeah, this will go really nicely. We got a pair of joggers. These are from Nike. And I think they have, oh, I was gonna say they have fleece in them, but they don't. But they are very warm looking. So just a simple pair of joggers because I love to be comfortable. I don't really love jeans. I wear them because, you know, that's what most people do, but especially in the winter time, and I don't feel like wearing jeans, joggers are my go-to outfit. And these are from Old Navy, and they're the gray ones. Ta-da! Actually haven't even taken this out, but this is a white long sleeve shirt by Eddie Bauer. I guess I'll show you guys. I asked for this because I am in nursing school and the only color we're allowed to wear under our scrubs is a white shirt and I always get super cold in the hospital. So this is what it looks like. Another thing, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel and don't know this, I absolutely love cows and I got this shirt, but wait for it, on the back is a cow. Look how cute that cow is. I really, really love cows. And this is such a soft shirt too. Kind of keeping with the purple theme. Told you I really like purple. It's this purple sweatshirt. Also a similar color to the Savannah, Georgia one. And this is from Costco from my parents. And this is actually fleece lined. You can see that. And it has the pockets. I probably look really ridiculous right now, but that's okay. It has pockets to keep your hands warm because I am always freezing, especially with my hands. The last pair of joggers, Adidas joggers, and these are just the slim fit straight leg full length style from TJ Maxx, I think. And you guys, let me show you. It has a zipper. I love the fact that pants have zippers because women's clothes just do not have pockets let alone zippered pockets but the zippered pockets are great because then you can put your phone in it you can put your wallet in it and then you zip it up and you never have to worry about it falling out if you hadn't already figured out another thing i got for christmas was on christmas eve mom always gets us matching family pajamas so these were the pajamas we got. It's a Christmas set from Old Navy. You guys, this is something I have been so excited about. I asked for them for Christmas because I will be graduating soon. I thought it'd be really cool to be able to take pictures in these for graduation. But for all you nurses out there, you know exactly what these are. The logo. It is indeed the fig scrub set and this is in the seal blue color. Here is the top. And oh my goodness, I love the color. I love it so much and it feels really nice. And I know that these are super high quality. I cannot wait. My boyfriend got me this heated jacket. So there's kind of some soft fleece lining in here. And then the best part is there's a little power bank and you can actually charge your phone in it too. And the, let's see if I can show you the power button. If you turn that on, it'll start to heat up. Two. 
45 degrees Celsius. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I'll put up in here. I tried it yesterday and it does actually get really, really warm. So this will be very nice to have during the winter. I just headed downstairs to get another gift that I almost forgot, but I wanted to show you guys. It's this coffee hot chocolate set from Starbucks. Our family friend and her fiance got this for me. Another family friend got some toe pens and these pens are the best things in the world. I love these pens so much. The writing is so smooth and I use this for all of my clinical documents and paper. These are the 0.5 in blue and you can tell I've kind of already used a couple over here. A fire TV stick and this is perfect because we got a new TV. We had an extra TV from downstairs that we moved upstairs and now it's in our guest room and you better believe that I am using this thing to watch like Netflix and Prime. It is so crazy how much is on here. I never knew what I was missing out just using my iPad, but it is the best thing. And I really love that it has the buttons too. From our college class Christmas party, I got this crazy little friend over here. And let me just show you guys. Look at that. <laughs> It's an inflatable desktop party, and I can attest to that. It gets really wild. It was sort of a secret Santa, but then turned into a stealing white elephant. It wasn't really a white elephant, but you could steal different presents. And I must have had five presents, and this is the one I ended up with. And I honestly really like it. I think it's super fun to just be on your desk to have a little joy in your life, especially when you're studying. Another family friend got me a couple Pandora charms, and here is the first one, if it'll focus. Yeah, so it's a little stethoscope with a heart, and I can put this on my bracelet. And the other one she got me, I just wore for Christmas, and it's this charm right here. So it's a little gingerbread house with a candy cane. So I put it on the bracelet and wore it for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So thank you so much to Dr. Mary for that. And then the last thing she got me was this wooden set. And it has a piano, it's a little choir, and a violinist, wooden figurine, and then the piano player to go along with that. Then from my parents again, got some markers because how I study is using a whiteboard and I try and remember everything that I can and I put it on a whiteboard to write it down and test myself and I've used so many markers that they're all dying so this is going to be good to have. I think it should last me through the semester depending on how much studying I'll have to do but it comes with the eight markers and they're magnetic and have a little eraser top on it which is really convenient because other markers that don't have that you have to find an eraser so these are definitely my favorite ones when I opened this gift I was really really confused but here is what it is it's an all-in-one masking set and I asked mom I was thinking what is this supposed to be it kind of looked like measuring spoons for the kitchen so I thought it was something for the kitchen but she kind of explained it to me it's like a make your own thing because I do a lot of mud masks on my face. So that way I can actually have something to put it in. So this is the mixing bowl. So if I want to do a mud mask, I can mix it in here and not have to get a paper towel or a paper plate and then mess everything up and it gets all over the place, believe me. From my grandma, got a 100% natural EOS lip balm set. And I am the queen of losing my chapstick. I mean, every place I go, I can guarantee you there is a thing of chapstick somewhere. It's sort of a disaster, but trying to keep up with those things is crazy. So I got nine of these here, which should be okay. I'm going to place them all around the house to try and make sure that I don't lose them. Or if I do, there's another spot to go to. And then it comes in the scents vanilla bean, sweet mint, strawberry sorbet, and juicy peach. From Grandma and Grumpy, but I think Grandma probably picked this out, is OPI Nail Polish. I don't really use nail polish that much because of school. They don't let you paint your nails. But since I'm on break, I can actually use this. So probably going to paint with the lighter colors. I really like the lighter pinks. And then it comes with a clear maybe? Ooh, a purple. 
Wow. The next thing from Grandma was double espresso Chiaro coffee from Nespresso. This has my heart. I love the coffee. My parents, look at this. I got the complete Katie Weldon series by Robin Jones Gunn. This is only three out of the four books because I did get one for my birthday. So I now have the entire set and look at the covers you guys. Aren't they beautiful? These are the newly printed covers. She made these just a couple years ago and I was thinking how pretty they look. And I've technically read all of these books, but I love having sets of things so I can go back and reread series. And I'm actually rereading the Christy Miller series now. And this should keep me busy for pretty much all of Christmas break because I think I have around 30 books to read. A couple more things that are lip and beauty related. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. I have seen these all over the internet. People have said that the lip masks are really great to have because you only have to put them on maybe once or twice a day and they keep your lips from getting super chapped. And I have really chapped lips. So I'm going to try these out. I have really high hopes for them. But it comes in, I think, three different flavors. Yeah, so it's berry, peppermint, and pumpkin spice. That sounds really good. It comes with a little lip applier thing too, which is really nice. My parents also got me this little Burt's Bees set that has a lip scrub, a chapstick, and lip oil. In my stocking from my boyfriend's parents and at his house, I got a bunch of little stocking stuffers and I'm not gonna go through all of them because I think this video is probably gonna be really, really long. But let me just show you. Got a little stress ball, ah, chapstick, yo-yo, a million bucks in money. No, not money, not, not money. A million bucks in chocolate, and I love chocolate, so I'm gonna be eating that pretty soon. And last but not least, a couple other toys as well. A couple other things from my boyfriend's family. This fairy ornament, and sort of like a nurse type thing. Has that N95 mask on to keep those airborne germs away. And with that in my stocking, I forgot to mention this. Isn't this cute? It's a little sea charm and it's sparkly. And I actually needed a new key ring because the one I currently have is from Disney World and I love it. It has a little ice cream in the shape of Mickey ears, but it's starting to wear out and that ice cream does not look as appealing as it once did. So I'm probably gonna switch it out to this cute little C. The next thing in the stocking that was a really wonderful surprise was another thing of coffee and I am just super excited to have more because you can never have too much coffee. Then last but not least got a portable juicer and some chocolate protein powder yeah to put in milkshakes not milkshakes I mean you could put it in milkshakes but it's probably smoothies be a little bit healthier exotic teas from around the world and it's a book and it opens to showcase all the teas in the world we got england france morocco turkish jamaica china japan and india and it's magnetic i really like this magnetic from my boyfriend's grandma this cow and this cow's name is elmer and it does also have a really sweet story that goes behind it, and it's super meaningful, so really thank you to them. I really appreciate it. And this cow will go in my little cow collection. I now have a cow corner in my room. Mer. A Bodum French Press coffee maker because I got some Cuban coffee from Miami a little bit ago and I had this pour over thing but it took up a lot of space and it wasn't the most efficient so we got this and it'll take up less space and these are supposed to be really good so I will be trying this maybe tomorrow. This is kind of funny but dry shampoo. My mom kind of picked up on the fact that I really like her dry shampoo because Quite a few times I'll go into her bathroom and just spray the dry shampoo in it because it makes my hair not as frizzy. I know that's not exactly the intended use, but it really works and helps tame the craziness, so that's what I was doing. And it is in the Beaming Berry scent. Well, I was going to open it and smell it, but I'm sure it'll smell very good. 
nail clippers. I actually did need some nail clippers that worked because the other ones kind of get dull and then they don't clip your nails right. So practical but handy gift. Then we got several gift cards. I got two Starbucks gift cards from my Aunt Suzette, a Walmart gift card from my uncle, an Amazon gift card from a family friend, and then another Amazon gift card from my aunt. Quick little insert here from my friend Jicelyn. Got some Be Enchanted lotion from Bath and Body Works, a cow mug from Weigel's. We love the cow print. A berry candle. From my best friend Sarah, I got a cow shirt that says Mooey Christmas. Okay guys, I have been saving the best for last, and it is these. Hoka's. I am just really, really blessed to have these shoes because I've seen Hoka's everywhere in the nursing community. That is pretty much the dominant shoe. In the hospital and even going to class, people will wear their Hoka's. So I got not one, but two pairs of hokas so i will show you the design the first one is an all black one and it's not the most stylish one but i really wanted the all black because for clinicals i don't want a shoe that is going to be all cute and then you get stuff on it so i figured all black would be the safest bet they're a size seven the next pair is for running and just out and about everyday use is very similar black and white nothing crazy with the colors but i really like black and white because it goes with everything and you never have to think about oh will my outfit match these shoes because everything goes with black and white an up close shot these are the Clifton 8s. I didn't mention that earlier. They're both the Hoka Clifton 8 style. Okay, guys, I think that is everything I got for Christmas. I hope I didn't miss anything, but once again, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!